Hey, what's up? It's the ODB, and we're giving you one hell of a meet greet. And you're watching MAW Live. Boom! <laughs> I am happy to be joined by a woman that has traveled the world with a lot of these women. She has wrestled great world champions, tag team champions, and now stars in WWE, TNA Wrestling, New Japan, AEW, the great Caitlin Diamond. You can name any promotion in the world. I've been in the ring with the absolute best, Andrew, and I can't wait to see what MAW has to offer in this all-women's tournament. Well, we, got, we do have the greatest in the world right now and here is just a preview of what's coming up is scheduled for one fall as an opening round tournament matchup. Your referee, MAW senior official, RJ Wilkins. Introducing first, from Greenwich, Connecticut, Miss Frankie J. But her body of work has gotten her back into the tournament for crowning the new MAW women's number one contender. I mean, she's lucky, kind of. How many tournaments have you competed in this time? Uh, I've competed in a number. I, I don't know the number off the top of my head. Um, maybe the most recognizable one would be the ECWA uh, top eight women's tournament that they do in Delaware every year. Uh, the likes of Diana Perrazzo, Christina Marie, oh. Skyler, Wendy Chu, all in that tournament with me. Santana Garrett. It's hard so, to remember. So what, you're say, so what you're saying is you were in some tall cotton. Yeah, man. I was in the tall grass. And, and to go on and to win a tournament is extremely difficult to do. But there will be a winner here tonight. Will it be Frankie J? Only time will tell. And her opponent! Bro! 
mainstay here at MAW. Last time, last time we saw her, she was competing for the MAW women's title against Sierra. Took her to the limit. That's right. That doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to automatically get through this no. match, though. No, it's not going to be. No, this is not going to be easy for any of these women. Yeah, that's... It was him. It was him. Yeah, and I, I like how nobody is... <laughs> it was Andrew! Yeah. It was Andrew. Yeah, how am I supposed to know nobody is... Oh, uh, Heather's cheering for you, look. Heather's cheering for you. <laughs> yeah, because nobody tells me that we don't have a timekeeper. Where's Travis Sharp? We're very well organized here at MHW. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm not even getting paid at... I didn't get paid extra for this at the last Ironheart show, and I'm probably getting paid extra for this. You get paid enough at Ironheart. Lord almighty. <laughs> oh, all right, let's get back to, to what we're really here. Yeah. Seven women, six will fall, and one will become the number one contender. And all the changes that have gone on in this one, Christina Marie out with staph infection, Shelly Benson out with strep throat. Honestly, horrible. But it's that time of year, right? It's I mean, it's never the time of year for a freaking staph infection, but no. they do happen. No. And then the other one, of course, Laney Luck, not cleared. Right. Not cleared. I did get told, though, I know you're going to find this really weird, but I did, have a, I did have a civilized conversation with GPA. Okay. Laney Luck will appear on April 14th at Double Jeopardy. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that, definitely. Looking forward to her comeback. You see that? Yeah. It's because her hair is up there. And Heather Reckless is down there because she's short. Oh, God. of course. We're talking about, we're talking about height again. That's what Frankie Jay's talking about. I'm just calling the action, Andrew. They had, they had yet to lock up. There was only so much I could say. All well, right, we, we got, got an, an arm, arm bar, bar. here. <laughs> I was going to say, say, wait, we've got an arm bar here. That's yeah. wrestling. That just started. Oh, oh, cheap shot by Frankie. Typical Frankie J. I wonder if she learned that one from Trish. Watch out. Here comes a reckless escape. Right back to the arm. Nice, fancy escape there. Frankie J didn't know what to make of it. Here's a question. I, here's a question I have. Would I go with the Terry Funk aspect of the tournament of go for pins and go for pins fast? I would, personally. I know it's a, it's easy to say and harder to do, um, but that's got to be your strategy. You could be wrestling numerous times tonight. You got to save your energy for hopefully the main event. That 15 minutes don't seem like uh, don't seem long. Right. Frankie J taking her time on the outside, though. I wouldn't be taking my time. Remember, if you lose my count, I'll, you're out. But I know she'd like to be getting the MAW championship shot with Sierra. Who wouldn't, right? Uh, Sierra right now. You know what's weird is Sierra's not even here tonight. I. Wouldn't you want to be scouting? taking any opportunity you could to scout your number one contender. Who's to say that Sierra doesn't have a scout out here already? Okay. You, you, you think Sierra is not that smart? No comment. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't distrust the, the, the capacity of the thought, of thought from Sierra. Heather got the arm locked here. Oh, she's, oh, Heather's looking to break it. Oh. Joint manipulation. <laughs> oh, is that how it's been? Oh. Well, that'll dislocate your shoulder. Dislocate the shoulder. Pop an elbow. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Heather Reckless doing push-ups. Like, keep up with me. I dare you. Well, she's going to be able to keep up with her for windpipes going right into that rope. You tell me all the time, there's not much give in those ropes. No, not nearly enough. It's essentially just steel cable wrapped in hose. One, two, three, four. 
Frankie now controlling the pace here, catching her breath while Heather's reeling. Oh, Heather just put herself back, back in that corner. She's pretty much just made herself easy prey for Frankie. She's got to watch herself with RJ Wilkins, though. He's not messing around. No. And if she gets disqualified, then that's an automatic buy for Heather Reckless, correct? That's just, that is correct. Everybody picking up that chip for Heather Reckless. There's Heather with a good shot downstairs. She's tenacious. Let's not distrust, let's not discount Heather Reckless here. She's no, a, certainly not. She is tenacious. You don't take the champion to the limit without being tenacious. She looked like she was trying to pull off a jawbreaker there, but Frankie J just kept beating her down. That's a great offensive maneuver to hit when you're in a defensive position. Oh, there's your favorite move. Kick them while they're down. <laughs> now they're being dragged back, back to center. Huge elbow. And oh, look at this. Nonchalant cover there. You're not going to pin Heather Reckless like that. She thought she got her, according to her, according to Frankie J. Big knee drop there right in the sternum. And Frankie again, right into that sternum area. Yeah, right in the throat, too. <laughs> this crowd is showing they're voting for Frankie. Wait a minute, we got a roll up here by Heather. Here's two. Nope. Oh, jeez. That's some aggression. Really starting Maggie. to make me think Maggie Lee got an upset. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Frankie's been right. Frankie Lou Who, that's gold. Ah! Oh, top of the back. Oh, oh no. man! Right in the jaw. But it doesn't put Reckless down. Reckless got kicked right in the face, dude. She might be messed up. Not looking as, not looking as bad as we think. And the two count there for Frankie. Props to Heather for kicking out after all this abuse. Oh, she wants one more, and she looks like she's going to go with second rope here. Oh no. Second turnbuckle on the inside. She doesn't strike me as someone who's comfortable enough to do this. Okay, well, my instincts are usually right. Frankie took her time there, and that's what you shouldn't be doing with a girl like Heather Reckless. Face first, right into the corner. Oh, look at that kick, that arm, the injured arm of Frankie. Yeah, she, she knows how to work that body part over. Coming back over, drapes the arm over the yeah, rope. and why can't she use the rope to her advantage as well, right? Foot turnabout's fair play. Heather now, top rope, cartwheels over. European uppercut, you love seeing that. <laughs> what, the cartwheel or the uppercut? No, the European uppercut. Yeah, absolutely. Cross arm breaker. Oh, she's tapping. That's one down for Heather Reckless. Two more to go before she can get her rematch with Sierra. Great first victory here for Heather Reckless. She'll go on to meet the winner of Maserati and Kelsey Magnolia coming up next here. Oh, that'll be interesting to see for sure. Oh, I know. Oh, I, I, I happen to get a look at the betting board and you actually got Maserati winning this thing.
we go. Big Maz in the house. You know, I asked her earlier today, how do you feel about your name being used for college right receiver standout Marvin Harrison Jr.? She told me very, very strictly, she's not a Maserati. That, that makes sense. There's only one. How many Ironheart appearances for Miss Maserati? Actually, zero. Zero? You know, it, it's been on the books, so to speak, numerous oh. times, but, you know, scheduling conflicts keep happening. Hopefully have her out in the future. Well, we got her here right now, yeah, and I know you are ecstatic. She's a heck of an athlete, man. Well, well she's taking on a heck of a standout. I was very impressed with Kelsey's match a, f a few days ago with Shaza McKenzie. She's really improved her game and really upped her standards. I can't say that I've seen the match, but I hope you're right. But here's, but here's a problem. Are you up to Ma's standards? Yeah, that's... It's, that's not easy. Here, here's a little comparison for you. Kelsey Magnolia, she's like a Ford Focus. She's going up against the one and only Maserati. You know, a Ford Focus is a reliable car. It'll get you from point A to point B, but it's not a winner. It's not the class. It's it doesn't the class have of a Maserati. leather seats. Oscillating headlights. Right. It doesn't have all those luxury features. Yeah, the only reason I know that is because my buddy, he, had a head, he hit one, and uh, it wasn't a good bill. <laughs> I could imagine. But I mean, Maserati, she's from Las Vegas, man, the land of money. Well, this one will be interesting. Definitely new school and old school meeting here in the first round of the Invitational Tournament. And if you're Maserati, does your game plan change that much since you went from going against Christina Marie over to Kelsey Magnolia? Um, it shouldn't change much. If anything, Kelsey Magnolia is an easier night for Maserati. Christina Marie has a lot more experience than Kelsey Magnolia. A lot more power too. Absolutely. But I think, I think there's a little bit of a height advantage as far as Kelsey well, Magnolia is concerned. I would say so. And if anything, she's got a lot to prove. I think that's what tournaments are all about. They're all about proving grounds. <laughs> oh, Kelsey, I love you, but I wouldn't be trying to tempt Maserati. Uh, height's not everything, says some guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Lock up center of the ring here. And there it is. Size and maybe a little bit of a strength advantage for Kelsey Magnolia because she has the height advantage. Yeah, it's. I would say it's simply a height advantage, but because of that comes leverage, which caused her to throw Maserati into the corner there like it was nothing. But you can't out height experience, Andrew. <laughs> Picked her up like a child. Hey, look at that scorpion tattoo on Kelsey's thigh. An homage to the to... stinger. We just recently retired. Congratulations to him. Oh, this is, <laughs> I, I'm not surprised. I love it. Up, oh, picks her back up again. 
Well, she, like made, a rag doll. she made that look real easy. I think it's doing nothing but angering Maserati. <laughs> Kelsey Strong. There's something Ooh. I never thought I'd hear from a crowd. Gotta love independent wrestling. Yeah, man. Your words. Oh, there you go, Maserati. Go to Durin for a lockup. Grab the wrist. And a reversal by Kelsey and kind of jabbed it, jabbed her shoulder into the arm. You don't get to train under Dr. Tom Pritchard without learning a few of the doctor's tricks. Trust me, I know. I've done multiple Dr. Tom Pritchard seminars in my day. Nice escape. Great escape. And, oh, there you That's the taunt. Yeah, it is hard to, it is hard to outpace a Maserati. Good luck, though. There's a headlock takeover by Kelsey. Maserati's got the shoulder up, though. Oh, look not at that going for that allowing, hair. Not even allowing a count. Head scissor here. Up comes Kelsey. Headlock here. And I got the hand in the face there. Duck underneath that time. Cross body. Oh, that was a bad idea. My, in my thinking, that was a bad idea. Should have just stayed on that and could have gotten the pin. Great suplex by Kelsey. Going for a cover here. Just a one count. I think that took Maserati back a little bit. Right to the outside there. Oh, good jab right to the to the gut of Kelsey. Oh. Nice soul food on the apron. There's RJ Wilkins. Only a one count for Maserati now. You saw RJ earlier checking on Kelsey. Oh. Ramming the head right in, right in the back of the head into the into the mat. Hey, it's well within the rules. Oh, Maserati was going for a bear hug? Either that or a Northern Lights suplex. A nice. nice. Great innovative offense by Maserati. It was reminiscent of a Shelton Benjamin leg whip there. Barely two. Oh, no. RJ's calling one. <laughs> it really, it doesn't matter at this point. It wasn't the three. Let it up. Caught her. Oh, oh man. man! Decked her. But she stands right back up. Maserati now. Big clothesline there. Another one. The anomaly coming on strong. Pick up. Hard slam by Kelsey. Here's this a cover. Be it. Oh, I thought that was going to be the upset. Kelsey now. Has Maserati up. Oh, wait a minute. Went back to the hair. Hey, everybody's got it. Switch for switch for switch. Roll up. There's barely two. Kelsey was trying to get it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maserati, come on! Excellence! Why should I not be surprised that Maserati pulled that off? Referee was out of position. Oh, oh horribly all out I of have position. To say, all I have to say to RJ Wilkins is be a better referee. Maybe I'll teach him a thing or two later tonight. Oh, hey. Hey, Eli, what's up? You're just getting on RJ. Check the snow out from Eli. <laughs> okay, so? Put your money where your mouth is. 
I could easily do that, and I will. All Just right. you wait and see. Will do. Introducing first from Fairbanks, Alaska. She weighs in at one billion pounds of pure muscle. The mega star, Angel Blue. I wouldn't want to mess with this one just because of her teacher. <laughs> Angel Blue making her first appearance. Actually, the Angel Blue is replacing Lainey Luck. And Lainey Luck, actually, I found out she took on Angel Blue early in Angel's early in Lainey's career when she took when they had a match out in Texas. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I myself have been in the ring with Angel Blue. She is a Texas. Uh, she's lived in Texas for some time. Let's see what she's got. She's taking it on another MAW mainstay. Said last year over a great competitor in Amina Belmont, the Phoenix Princess. She wants her first crack at MAW gold. Best way to do it. For sure, win this tournament. Also has had a great, great match with Misa Cade a couple years ago. Part of the Grand Slam Rumble back in 2022. Jeez. Well, as much as I'd love to stick with you, Andrew, I'm now on referee duty, so I need to get backstage, get a ref shirt on, and get ready. That's true. That's true. I can't wait to see it. I'll, I'll yeah, be back. You know, honestly, let me, and I'm going to tell this to you while we're waiting for the first lockup. Uh, there have been rumors that I'm trying to get rid of you. No, you, I'm just getting back up because you're not going to be always available. You're always get, you're getting referee bookings. You're getting MC bookings. You're getting Busy. all this stuff. So, yeah. I'm a we, Jill of all trades. Uh, Jill of all trades. All right. I'll be back, man. All right. Talk to you later. Have a good time. As we get ready for Leslie Michelle. Again, it's Angel Blue here. Good north-south matchup here as Angel Blue starting the mind games off early. And Angel Blue now, she, I think she says she might be ready. Takes her time at the, and this is just a mind game. When you are trained by Lance Hoyt, you get some of the best training. And I think it's working because you just, I look over at Leslie Michelle and she is just getting more and more aggravated with this one. As this crowd is all over Angel Blue. Here we go. First lock up here and here we go. Arm ringer here. Leslie getting the advantage of Angel early. Nope, stomp of the foot. Switching it over. <laughs> Leslie, another girl, very young in her career. As we see an arm breaker there. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna be chanting that, Angel. <laughs> Shh. 
shaking her head. No, 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 no. We're not playing these games, Angel. Angel Blue now. Oh, look at this. Going right for those braids. Leslie now just keeps a hold of that. Oh, look at that. Smart. Smart way to get out of that if you're Angel Blue. Just biting the arm. Oh, Leslie up, and then this is over. Right back to her own headlock. And Angel again going back to that hair. Up in the rope. Oh, Leslie just ran her over. Up and over. Drag takeover, great job there. Leslie, nice way to get out of that one. Roll out. To a drop kick, good job there, Leslie Michelle. I think that's kind of taking Angel a little perplexed there. Lines up the shot, nope. Oh, flatliner right into the rope. That better have been right into the nose area. As wait a minute, she's applied the boot right into the throat of Leslie. Leslie now, oh, look at that. Using the hair to ragdog the poor girl. Angel now with a rope assisted choke hold here and just apply her full body weight onto the neck area of Leslie Michelle. And, oh, look at this. Using the rope to rake the face of poor Leslie. Big shots there by Angel. Face first into the corner. Resorting to bad mouthing the crowd, I would be concentrating on winning this matchup. That's the only way you get in. Oh. Clubbing chop right into the chest of Leslie. I, I think they're doing nothing but aggravating. Not as much pep in that last one. Oh, oh no, he's playing, a, he's playing a big one here. Oh, oh, that's just rude. That missed. Oh man, good. They are just, just coming away on the chest of Angel, but Angel getting right back into the advantage here. And now she's taking it to the corners of the world here, as far as Leslie is concerned. Shoulder first. Angel headlock take over. A pro Leslie. Right into the spine. Oh, and one kick sends down Leslie. Poor Leslie Michelle. Face right there using the boots. I know Kayla and I would love to see this. Oh. Full butt impact. Leslie know where she's at. Angel going in and up. Nope. Switch over. In your face. But Leslie is taking such a beating here by Angel, she can't capitalize. You hear that crowd, let's go Leslie. As both women make it to their feet. Big close line there by Leslie. Huge elbow. Getting the Maneka uppercut there. Suplex City, got it.
Any switch. Picks her up here. As he gets out of it. Up over. Riot kick! Leslie catches her with a riot kick. Is this gonna be the, oh. Angel Blue's very smart to get that rope very quickly. Leslie now, big right. Forearms here. Maybe help oh, going to the elbow, catching her in the jaw here. Talking underneath that time, switch. Round, round. A birth the women stop. Only Angel will determine. Good grief. Got her. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. And advancing on into the semifinals, the mega star, Angel Blue. Great effort here by Leslie Michelle, but it's just not enough against this big Lance, Tra Lance Hoy trained powerhouse in Angel Blue. Well, she will be going on to the second round to take on Natalia Markova. I guess she's getting her last word in. And if I'm Natalia Markova, I'm prepping up here because it ain't going to be an easy time with Natalia Markova. Still a lot of there we have it. We know who's moving on to our semifinals. Before we move on here, I just want to give a quick shout out to ODB and the food truck out there. They are almost sold out. So if you have some time, go get some food before she closes up for the night. She's running out of food. I also want to thank the Lift Bridge Brewery for having us back as well. And also want to give a big shout out to former WWE superstar Jazz for being with us. I hope you had the opportunity to meet Jazz. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one seed in tonight's tournament, Natalia Markova. Wow, what, what, is, uh, what is this about? Natalia, I'm a little surprised. I wasn't expecting to see you out here. You have a buy on tonight's tournament. I know, but I just saw what happened in the match before what Maserati did, yeah. Yeah. and I thought it was not fair, yeah. right? Yeah. So I think that Kelsey deserves more than that. Yeah. Yes. And honestly, I don't want a chance, I don't want to buy, I want to win a tournament fair and square. So what do you think if it will be me against Kelsey right now. Let's do it. Approve it, Brian. So now, Talia, let me get this straight. You're willing to give up your buy in the tournament to give Kelsey Magnolia one more chance. Stillwater, what do you think? We're going to go ahead and do this. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is an opening round tournament matchup now. Introduced to currently in the ring at this time from Clearwater Beach, Florida. She is the crush, Natalia Morkova. And her opponent from the Motor City, this is Kelsey Magnolia. Your referee, MAW senior Heschel, RJ Wilkins. RJ, you're getting tired of this. Probably all of us are over this great action here. But how awesome is it that Kelsey Magnolia gets another chance in this one? Definitely deserves it after that. Probably that, I would say that ripoff against, Mas against Maserati. Now, I just want to say thank you for wanting to see me again. And thank you to Natalia for giving me this huge opportunity. It's an honor to share the ring with her. It's an honor to be here right now. So thank you, Minnesota. Thank you. No, no, thank you for taking a last second replacement in the tournament. Here we go. Natalia Markova just getting off of another challenging of the NWA Women's World Championship against Kenzie Page. Did not get the job done, but put her in a hell of an effort. And again, Kelsey, the tallest 
woman in this tournament, but a lot of heart shown here by Natalia Markova, especially when you're in a street fight for the NWA Women's Championship against Camille. Both of them are just trying to get, just trying to stay some dominance here as these headlock takeovers by both women, and they are just not releasing. There you go. And Natalia showing why she won. She wants the, she wants a clean W. She doesn't want a buy. But having a buy is like having a stand up in mixed martial arts here, reversing. Oh. Peterbilt truck just running over poor Natalia. Here we go, Kelsey. Great suplex. Kelsey, quick into the cover. Here's one. Two count. Great effort by Kelsey to try to get that pin early. Smart of her. Oh! Natalia saying good morning. He's like, you ain't gonna win on me that easy. Good morning. See the sun! <laughs> Natalia whipping Kelsey in the corner, her first third of, ah! Take down there, she's still got that arm, oh! And she is not wearing pads. One, two, no. Kelsey's showing a lot of heart in this one. Just. Bare knee into that jaw area of Kelsey Magnolia earlier. Here we go, and Kelsey right back into the corner, and her sternum right into that top turnbuckle. That could hurt her even more. What, is, what does Natalia have planned here? Are we going to serve 10 punches? Shot here and bang, there's that 10th punch. Kelsey on Dream Street now. Here is Italia to the cover. Nope. I think when you get that second chance, I think it finds you a second win here, and it's sure finding a second win for Magnolia. Rings off it. There's a forearm shot. Here comes Kelsey back. Off in the ropes, duck underneath that time. Big crossbody. This is what prevented it and earlier. No. <laughs> Kelsey Magnolia hit that crossbody on Maserati earlier, and she didn't get the cover. She tried it this time, but it didn't pay off against Markova. Huge boof from Markova. There's the cutter. Markova, quick into the cover. Here's one. Here's two. But a two. Markova now. 15 minute call here. That was mistaken, I thought for sure. This was gonna be a 15 minute time limit. Magnolia in. Monkey flip. Perfect snap. Great combo. Couldn't do it. No, Kelsey just getting just getting two on that one. And I think Markova. I think she knows she's in for a for a match here. Oh, great leg kick. And again, just trying to chop away on Kelsey. But she went high this time. That stuns her. Heads up. Beautiful destruction. Double arm DDT. Could this do it? One, two, got her. Finals, Natalia Markova. She deserved that second chance, and she showed why she deserved that second chance. But it's not going to be enough against the former NWA number one contender. And now Markova advances to the second round to take on Angel Blue, and another round closer to being the number one contender, and she wants back, you know she wants back at Sierra. Great first round action as we got second round action coming up. And RJ Wilkins, he's gonna get a break. 
because coming up next, we will see Kayla Diamond back in stripes. Introducing first from Las Vegas, 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 Nevada, Maserati! Speaking of Kelsey Magnolia's first round opponent, there she is. Maserati, well traveled veteran. Well, I'd be watching if I'm Caitlin Diamond, I, I don't think a lot of Maserati tricks are going to be are going to be easy to get off of Kayla Diamond. Because Maserati just toy the crowd, the great crowd we've had. We've always had great crowds here at Liftbridge Brewery of Stillwater. That's it. Well, let's get a look back at Maserati's second route, semi-final opponent. And her opponent! From Denver! Miss Frankie J. Should be interested to see how she has recovered with that one. The Denver, Colorado native, the Chicago, the Chicago style wrestling standout. This one's going to be good. Can't wait to see this one. Yeah, I, I don't think you're going to see much of that. <laughs> Everybody's going back on Maserati's case. Just Caitlin Diamond checking everybody out here. Bell is wrong, and here we go. I don't think he, this is one match where neither woman can have a size advantage. Let's see, Heather Reck, you know Heather Reckless won. I think when she looks at her opponents like Miss Frankie J, like Maserati, she's seeing Sierra. Maserati, it seems like Maserati is more tempted with the crowd than she is with Heather. Heather is making her pay for it right now. Arm lock applied, arm lock here applied by Heather. Maserati tried to escape there, and Heather wouldn't let her go. Oh, arm ringer just threw her down. Heather. Stopping the, 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 the switch. Oh! Going right back to that arm. She's going to look for that cross arm breaker again. Looking for that cross arm breaker again. As we got Maserati. Oh boy, how did I get rounded with this? Uh, really? Oh, I suppose, ladies and gentlemen, I'm being joined by class sophistication, and I suppose I should say I should be honored to be joined by Miss Frankie J. Yeah, yeah, the pleasure is all yours. Yes, what a joy and honor. I am so elated to see oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, look, this is garbage. How did Heather get in this match? That should be me. Should be me. You there. should be you getting posted by Maserati. You know, beating her, obviously, it would be me on top. Well, See, does she get her hair tied? I mean, that's why you put your hair up. You don't, you don't leave it out there. God, what a dummy. 
Did she just yank her hair? Did she just yank part of her hair out? She might have. I don't know. That, I mean, that would have been a creative escape there. Ouch. Just Ouch, town population, feet. your face. <laughs> She's so, so humble so as usual, aren't you, Frankie? Listen, listen. I Indulge did not come me. here for your attitude. I came here to watch some wrestling and to give you my expert opinion and my insight. My insight is I should be in that match right now, and everybody agrees, right? Yeah, see, let the record show everybody is... backs to you. Let the record show everybody is agreeing with me. Everybody's standing up because they got their backs to you. Whatever. Look at those cool babies over there. They're more exciting than this stupid Heather Reckless. Is, yeah, look at she. Guess, she got. She just has fake hair. Who does that? Weirdos. All natural Heather. right here. <laughs> All natural. Yeah, I'm sure your IQ will, will agree with that. Yeah, my IQ is taller than my hair. Sure thing. Maserati now snapped off a of DDT. Uh, just like that, we'll one, see. Two, you got one, you got two. No, only okay. two. Okay, well, what the heck, man? 15 minutes remaining in this contest. It looks like Boss Ryan going for another interesting pinfall attempt there. She needs to stay on her. I she, agree with you. She needs to, she needs to, oh yeah, get out of there. Yeah, she doesn't care about her hair, she just ripped it out. Get right on it. Yeah, hey, I guess you got smart, smart. That's all you got left. Smart. Yeah, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm never wrong. If you were never wrong, why'd you tap out? Okay, listen. What she did was illegal, okay? How Looking was up that illegal? in the rule book, it was an illegal move that she did on my arm, which was previously injured. Uh, I don't need to explain myself to you. Uh, uh, it was illegal. I'm sure, and there we Whoa, go. What's she trying to do? Trying to cheat. Kaylin, yeah, Kaylin Diamond. Yeah, Kaylin Diamond. Kaylin Diamond was very smart on some of Maserati's tricks, but Maserati just quicker on the draw on that one. I think that's uh, I think it's genius, is what it is. I like this Maserati. I like her style. It doesn't surprise me. I mean, if I was in there, obviously I'd be beating her. But I like what she's doing right now. Pulling her back and oh man. Ouch town. Ugh. Look at the pain in her eyes. The pain. And, oh whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This kind of reminds me of an old new old room Italian Neidhart used to use. Here's a roll up here. Here's a roll up. Oh, look at that. Smart. What? Kaylin Diamond what? right on the money there. What? You what? weren't gonna. She She's calling off that one. She went to the well. She got away with that first time, not this time. Yeah, well, Heather's getting away with those forearm shots. There's those double knees. She might be going back to that cross arm breaker that Just took you down in the first round. it. Get out of there. Watch your arm. It hurts. Oh, face wash. I think so. Maserati's teeth are in the front row. That that is unfortunate for her. Kick out! Kick out! Kick out! Kick out! Kick out. Does it come out? No. And there she goes. She's going for the cross arm breaker. No! 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 no She's no, got no, it! No. She's got it! Maserati, deep trouble. But there you go, clasping the fingers. And there it is. Athletic yeah. maneuver there by Maserati to get out of that one. She had the feet on those ropes again. Tricky one. She's tricky. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh. Uh, well, her. there's a new trick. Watch your face. Huh? Ooh, ooh, I thought oh. it was her face. Just threw her in that headlock takeover. Shiny oh, Wizard. No. Back of the head. One, two, ball game. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. And advancing on to the finals, Maza Rudy. I'm sure you're thrilled to see Heather Reckless get her come up and Oh my gosh, I'm thrilled. Oh, I'm not yeah. an ant, I'm not a monster. I'm just happy, okay? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying you're a monster. I'm just saying you're just happy that Heather Reckless is out of the tournament. She doesn't deserve the title, I'll tell you that much.
Yeah, go put your hair back on, weirdo. style of wrestling. This girl right here, she is money. She de yeah, she's definitely, I can see you two teaming with the she future. She does not take any crap from these fans. She knows yeah. that they don't know anything. Oh, oh my on. God, that was beautiful. How disgusting. Ah, where's your hat, buddy? It's gone. Guess you're gonna have to get out of your seat and get it, lazy bones. So thrill she'll thrill to see her fans too. Yeah, you're gonna get it all. Let's well, see. It ain't gonna be easy. And her opponent! From Clearwater Beach, Florida! This is the Crush Natalia! You, you I got, believe you're in putting Angel your money Blue. down on Angel. Yeah, I mean, who comes out here and says, oh, hey, I don't want a first round buy. I want to wrestle this Kelsey Magnolia. A, a woman with some courage. Oh, God, whatever courage, my butt. This sounds like a dumb strategy to me. I think she wanted a warm up. She, wa she wanted to have just as much of an opportunity. She wanted to get somebody just as great of an opportunity that she won't get. Heads up. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, genius. Yeah, ring that bell. No more time for dancing and flashing. It's time to get some business done. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my God. We're already using, we're only 10 seconds into the match and we're already using people's canes. Come on. Oh, he doesn't even need it. He doesn't even need it. I know he's joking over there. Get her. Yeah, I thought right in the face. Yeah, she's going pretty off. little face. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh I'm sure you're How loving that. How does that, that chair taste? Probably not good. I'm See? sure. You, I'm sure you're agreeing that that's a good taste of iron. Yeah. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. So excited. He's so excited to watch her get her throat stomped on. What kind of people. Naturally, he got the jump on her. Animals. Animals. Oh, right wait here. a minute. Oh. No. Chop to Natalia Markova. Oh, get, I mean, come on. Yeah, I, I'd have to agree. Angel, she's already set herself up for probably advancing early in the start, for advancing into the finals. What's this ref doing? Let's get him in the ring, huh? Huh? I got yelled at. What'd you yell at these guys? Oh, wait a minute. I think Angel is going back to a strategy that My. Maserati tried earlier. I like it. If it works, Oh. Oh, well, ooh. you bam out the crowd so much, you, get, you take your eyes off your opponent. And you don't want to take your eyes off somebody like Natalia Oh, Markova. she took her eyes right out right there. She ain't got to worry about her eyes no more, Natalia. She ain't got to worry about them. Oh, going to the yeah. eyes and, oh. Yeah, Eli, get some security going here. Get these fans away Please? from them. Yeah, well, they're all going let, to the ring. Let Angel do her business. Get them out of her way. Animals. Well, it's him, I'll agree. Animals. That's a two count there. Lots of fight left in the a crush, Natalia Markova. Again, you're not gonna, you're not just going to you're hey, not just going to uh, challenge feel? for the NWA Women's World title without a lot of heart. Natalia almost convulsing there on the mat. 
get it, get it. Uh oh, don't get that. Oh, it got countered, it got countered. Woo. No two count from Caitlin Dylan. Big kick there by Angel. There you go, there you go, that's it. Oh, okay. damn. The refs tonight, the counting. We need to get better. The checking on, the checking on submissions? Did I say that, sorry. I feel like we're fighting. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm not talking to you. <sighs> Angel now taking full of it. Oh. Oh yeah, wipe it off. He's probably got gross make. Oh, yikes. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> the Head on a swivel, over. girl. Head on a swivel. Yeah, she's gonna have a swivel head here. Boom. Oh, I thought she was going for that beautiful destruction. Get her, get her. Yeah, how's that taste? Can you breathe? Kicking away on the bread basket. Oh, God. Oh. Threw her like a rag doll. Rag doll. And there we go again. She's using the hair to. It's a clinic. She's putting on a clinic. A clinic. That's what the kids say. To this is clinic. clinic that look is she getting clinics confused with hair salons? What an interesting way to establish dominance. Oh. With your manly comment. Come on, Angel. Yeah. I saw this yeah. earlier with Maserati. Devastating. Question for you, does this move kind of give you a kind of give you a rest or is this just as punishing? It's painful. I mean, it's painful. Your arms aren't supposed to bend that way, bro. Well, I don't think your jaw's supposed to go back up into your head. None of that's supposed to happen. I'm not resting when I'm uncomfortable. Get her. Underneath that time. Oh. German suplex. Got her. She needs to cover. Get on her. Stay on her. There you go. Smart of Angel to pull her away from the rolls, and that's going to force her to have to put the shoulder up. You got to stay on her, girl. Running in. Nice. Stomp on the back. Nice. There you go. One, two, three. One, go, two. go, go. All right. Looks like there was only two. Does it? Is that what it looks like? Uh, that's what Caitlin Diamond said. She needs to stick to commentary, I think. I think Natalia Markova, I think these shots are just doing nothing but angering the, Rus the Russian crush. Get her, get her, get her, get her. Oh. Double clothesline, both women down. Ouch, Tom. Okay, that, that looked ouchy. That's, I mean, I think nobody's gonna win. I think you need to just call it as a draw. We are not Maserati. calling it as a draw. Maserati's the winner. Okay, go. well. Yep. Oh. A draw would have been off. Good morning. Running in for that back elbow. Good night, I would say. Back in. Sweet neck breaker. Cleverly done. Here's one. Here's two. No. I like that neck breaker. I like it. Marco, Marco I like now. That she did it. I like it. Marco now lining up a shot. But is she? Yeah. Is she? Looks like she was she trying to, and then she got got. Second turn. Oh God! Put it on the top yeah. floor. Ooh. Oh! They... Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Oh, see that little temptation with the crowd and that cost her. Wait a minute. Rear naked choke there or is it chin lock? Backpack stunner! It doesn't matter what it is because she down. But, oh, come on! Well, Natalia Markova, she knows that backpack stunner very well. Come on. One, two, three. It's one, two, three. Ow, my arm. Kick to the to the jaw. Here's get one, it, here's it, two, it's it. all. No, oh, Natalia again Come kicks out. Come on. Come on, ref, one, two, three. Look at the perplexed face on Angel. She's getting frustrated. She's getting frustrated. 
What is she gonna do here? Oh, version of Lucky 13. Yikes. Yeah, she got tap, 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 tap. Here it comes. Ah, come. tap, tap, tap. Italian tap, now. Tap, 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 tap. There, she, she did it. I saw it. She, she did not. She did it. She did it no. two times though. She Three is times. not. Three taps. Three taps. Come on. <laughs> That's a rope break. That break it up. ridiculous. She tapped. Oh, she, well. oh, she's tapping now. Look it. I'm seeing it. I see it. That I is see not it. on the mat. There That's has never been a verbal submission. How are you supposed to Come tap on, in midair? Come Caitlin Diamond. Pay attention. She's a rice. What are you looking at? Pound her away at the thigh to try she to get the submission, and there it is again. She doesn't see anything. What's she looking at? What the heck is she looking at? She's looking at breaking Break these two up. up. Caitlin Diamond. Well, this could be bad news for Natalia Markova. She was in yeah. Lucky 13 for a long time. Finish her off. Finish her off. Uh-oh. Nope. Duck underneath that. Oh. Beautiful destruction. of the Women's Invitational Tournament, Natalia Markova! Here's the question, how healthy is she gonna be? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Why'd you wrestle when you didn't need to? Now you gotta go against this awesome angel, and then now you're gonna try to take on Maserati? Maserati? Not looking good No, you, No, you're, you're one-legged one monster against Maserati. Yeah. Good luck. Uh. You're gonna need it, honey. Oh, well, we're gonna find out later if Natalia Markova will pull the impossible and no way. get the upset of Maserati. Nope. And Not gonna do it. <laughs> I suppose it was a pleasure, and you will say my honor to be joined by Miss Frankie J. I think a big match like this I deserves this a special guest referee. I'm referring to none other than one, the only, former WWE superstar and wrestling legend, Jeff! Miss Jim Day at all. <laughs> Not even once, dude. She looks like she could be ready to get back in there at any time. Right? Like, she's never looked bad, but she might look even better than ever. It's crazy. Correct me if I'm wrong, she's, she's another cancer survivor. I didn't know that. But that makes sense. She did have uh, really short hair for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Fuck it. Whoops. Sorry. Respect to Jazz. F and respect to F jazz. F and respect Come on. to jazz. You can censor our, that if you want to, but that's how nah, I feel. I don't think our producer's really going to care. Okay. That's he's flicking me off anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't find the stairs either, Jazz. They're way over there. <laughs> oh, Bro, no. You didn't see him, you didn't see Brian just get taller and taller? Brian didn't tell me they were there until it was too late. Uh. I would, I would like to have seen her in Hall of Dead. Brother. Whoa. Her and a lot of people. I would like to see her and me.
You ain't never seen a Maserati like this. Breaking necks, smashing in the whip. Shooting for the stars when I am a dog. You know, I know Frankie J was bad mouthing your referee. Honestly, you did a great job with trying to control Maserati's dirty tactics. Well, just because I'm friends with Maserati doesn't mean that I don't know how to lay down the law when I need to. And because I'm a friend of hers, I know. I know her dirty tactics because she learned them from me. So she wasn't going to slip one past me. That's for sure. She was close. She was close, but. Yeah, but as you tell me all the time, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. You're damn right. You got to keep the integrity of a tournament. Oh, Maz, don't, don't try to bab out, Jazz. Please. Oh, boy. Jazz. <laughs> Jazz could bench press her so easily, dude. <laughs> Not even funny. I believe it. I believe it. Oh, my God. How healthy is Natalia Markova? I guess if that leg is. She didn't look. She didn't look great, dude. Honestly, after the the last match, I, I checked on her. I could barely get her on her feet to raise her hand. So there's no way she's 100% going into this. No, especially when you were locked in a move like Lucky 13. Yeah. That's damaging. Devastating. I had to physically remove Angel Blue from that situation. Let's see here. I think this is gonna. I think this one's gonna be a tremendous final between the crush from Talia Markova and the class of Maserati. Yeah. As we take it up to Brian Sager with special guest referee Jazz for the introductions. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is your featured main event of the evening and is for the MAW Women's Invitational Cup and is the number one contendership match to the MAW Women's Championship. Your referee, WWE superstar and wrestling legend, Jim! She'll call it right down the middle, I have no doubt about that. This match is also sponsored by the Lake Harriet Law Offices and Lift Ridge Farm Girl Beer. Introducing first, currently on the apron, from Las Vegas, Nevada, this is Maserati! Jazz is And our opponent to my right, <laughs> from Clearwater Beach, Florida, this is the crush. Natalia Markova! <laughs> Jazz will have her hands full with this one, though, for sure. When we were backstage earlier, I said, I'm not a very good referee, and she said, don't worry, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Call for the bell. Thank God I got a backup here, finally. Natalia looking for the early side of, a, of its womanship. Respect, honor, you could say. Yep. I, I shouldn't be surprised when it comes to Maserati. She's a little full of herself, just double, a little. That <laughs> double leg takedown and Maserati and Natalia Markova going at going early. Front face lock here applied by Natalia Markova. Yeah, great to get a front face lock out of a grappling position. Anytime I've been in any sort of legitimate fight, that's always the hold that I gravitate towards. And a stalemate. Yeah, they're in the ropes there briefly for a second. Clean break. Yeah. 
Gingerly getting back up to her feet, though, is Natalia. Well, like I said, she's nowhere near 100%. Oh. And look at that. Oh, good trip up there. And now it's Maserati locking in front face lock. Damn. Double A takedown. Great job there. That's. Oh, that could have been an early fall. Some great, some great close wrestling here to start it off here in the finals of the Invitational Tournament. Here we go again. Duck underneath that time. Taking control is Markova. Those are in. Big back elbow by Markova. Goes in the corner and drives not only the elbow, but the knee into the bread basket. Swinging neck breaker, greatly done. Early cover, here's two. No, Maserati quick on the kick out. You gotta wonder how much gas in the tank both of these ladies have right now, despite being victorious in their earlier matches. We're gonna find out. Maserati out on the apron. Good Ooh. grief. Oh, the bad position here. Oh. And now. Just oh, hanging Maserati, on by your toes. Is that the definition of hang out to dry? Do some crunches. Get some cardio. <laughs> I joke because that's ah. extremely hard to do, but Maserati spinning around. Spin around. Cotter with a great karate kick. Twenty-five minute call here by Brian Sager, and this is not the first time Natalia Markova has been beaten up on the outside of the ring. No. Angel Blue did a number on her earlier. I had a oh. front row seat. Gotcha. Oh, face first into the steel steps. That's Maserati wanted to make sure everybody knew where they were at. Maserati taking the just. Breaking it up. She goes back to the other side. Oh, wow. Plowing chop there. You can just hear her chest get caved in. I don't think that's the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, when they say move, get out of the way, folks. Seriously. Oh, wait a minute. What is Maserati attempting here? Oh, no! That Nobody home! Backfired on her. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely say uh, that's a wipeout. Little acknowledgement there from Natalia Markova. She, I mean, she could take a count out right here. I know that's not the type of competitor Natalia Markova is, but. Go, oh. oh! Go back to your days of Japan. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh! oh. Especially that, actually. <laughs> oh, she's just stalking her. And I made a mention of this. Natalia's not wearing any knee pads, so that's your—that's no. all the knee going in your jaw. It's bone on bone, man. Chess, let both women know you're halfway to being counted out here. I know what we're trying. Oh, there it is. Jesus! Natalia's back on the concrete. Good God, I heard that. That was nasty. As if Natalia's leg wasn't bad enough, now her back's probably ravaged. And to think they've got less than a month before they had to be in the ring with Sierra at Double Jeopardy. Absolutely. And I would imagine they also have a busy independent schedule. Aside from that, Jazz making the count. And Natalia kicks out. 
Even Maserati is like, how did she kick out of that? Full mount here applied by Maserati. Uh, Maz Maserati, I love you. I love you, but don't be, don't be getting on Jazz's case. It's a big mistake. Here we go, Maserati getting back in the ring. Shot to the bread basket, and another one. Natalia trying to make a comeback, and Maserati just set her down. Natalia's wiped, man. Now, you think it was wise for her to take a mat to take a match with Kelsey Magnolia? Before? I mean, maybe not. However. Uh, here we go. She wanted to prove that she was, you know, a worthy competitor in all this and shouldn't just be Handed a, a, the an immediate contender. contender. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Here's one. Here's two. Nope. The Maserati, she can now just measure her. She can now just measure Natalia Markova. Great, great kick there. Steps her back over. Forearm to the back of the head. Yeah, she got to roll over and get a cover here. There it is. Here's one. Here's two. No, again Natalia kicks out. I don't know if she's just doing that based on instinct or what, but she is on Dream Street as Markova. <laughs> All these people tell you, oh, whoa. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. oh. This is getting ugly. Markova's got heavy hands, man. She's been all over the world. Oh, not, simple stop of the foot. Not to take anything away from Maserati. Up. Oh. Twist her back over. There's oh, a, but there's, there's that, that sucker punch. Yeah, jab. I always tell you, slip the jab. Big super kick. Both ladies are down here. What a shame this would be if it ended on a count out. Jazz applying the count here. Maserati making sure she's still got feeling. Up to five now. Markova knows she's got Maserati in her sights. And oh! Oh, oh yeah! Man, four. Just about took her head off, man. Missed the high roundhouse. Another one. Top of the bread basket snaps over. Still got it. Oh. Final flash. Final flash. That's it. No. no. Maserati shifting into second gear. She was in a position where her knees were bent. And she was able to bridge up. That was just a, a slight tactical error by Markova. I agree with these fans. This is awesome. Duck underneath that time. Shot to the bread basket. And another knee to the jaw. Here's one. Here's two. Markova kicks out again. How do these women kick out of these high impact moves? That'd be great if they fought forever, but we need to know who the number one contender is going to be. I agree. Maserati. Or the lights. Or the lights suplex with the bridge. Bridge comes down as Natalia kicks out again. Oh, I don't think this is a great idea by Maserati. She's losing focus on this. Breaking down, man. And I can't blame her. What's it going to take to put Natalia Markova away? Got her up in the corner now. There's some shots back to the bread basket. 
Maserati now putting a shot in. There's oh. a huge kick. Front face kick. Top floor. Natalia. Oh. Gun drop kick. This crowd is lit. Maserati. Look, Natalia's lining her up for something. Oh, bad sh place there. And, oh, and she was going to look for the final boot, but Maserati got out of Dodge very quickly. Maserati. <laughs> She needs a moment to compose herself. Can you blame her? Oh, no, 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 come on. We don't need that. We don't need that in here. Jazz, take control, Jazz. No, uh, she put her hands on Jazz. That's not, oh, oh. Jesus. Maserati, say a prayer. Not gonna need that time. Hey, hey! Jazz! Oh, that's the definition of jazz it up. South of the border, here's one, here's two. She's got it! Natalia Markova challenged Sierra in a barn burner. Three, year, three years later, she gets another shot. And look at the respect from all the competitors now coming in the ring to congratulate, well, maybe not all of them, but a good number of them coming to congratulate Natalia. What a hell oh. of a night for her, man. This, this was a great night. This is showcase why. Women's wrestling has truly evolved into one of the better parts of pro wrestling. Natalia Markova, I have to put my hand out to you and to congratulate you. She went the distance. She didn't want the bye. She put it on the line in the first round, gave Kelsey another chance, went on to win her second in the semifinals, and then right here in the finals, she made it past Maserati. You are now the number one contender to the MAW Women's Championship on Sunday, April 14th. It will be Sierra Natalia Markova too. We just want to get your thoughts at this time in your moment. I can't wait. Watch me. There you have it. Once again, your winner of tonight's tournament. And moving on to Sunday, April 14th, she will challenge for the MAW Women's Championship against Sierra. At Sierra Markova 2, Woodbury, Minnesota, at the Woodbury High School. Be there! I agree with Ryan Sager. Be there at Double Jeopardy at Woodbury High School. Look at all the rematches we've got coming up at Double Jeopardy. Fowler Rampage 3. Yeah. Mar Markova Sierra 2. You got ABC against Royal Flava. Dude, I can't wait. I'm stoked. Oh, to April 14th, come close enough. Brian Sager, thank you for the ring announcing. Fred Yerke, thank you for that ring. Chavo, producer extraordinaire. For Kaylin Diamond, I'm Andrew James. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Not I'm as exhausted as Natalia Markova. No kidding. Still water, Minnesota. We'll see you, you have a good time.